is going on, everybody? It is your favorite admin out in hookah land, King Tommy over at THL. And I'm here to talk to you guys. You're in the shot. You're in the shot. I told you I was going to do the video. You said you were going to lay down. You got to get out of my shot. Go ahead. Move to the other side of the couch. Please get out of my shot. Thank you. Jesus Christ, you guys. Do you see what I have to go through? Do you see what I have to go through to give you guys quality content? That was unprofessional. Now, what I am here to talk to you guys about today is this. Magma Bowls. Magma Bowls, you guys have heard us talking about it. Some of you may already even have one. Magma Bowls are a new bowl that we're bringing to the American market. Um, it's this. This is what it looks like. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that it's going to be the best bowl that you've ever purchased or anything like that. It's a great bowl. I very much like it. Um, I love it for its versatility. I love it for its depth and I love it for its width. I love it for how open it is. I love the clay. I love everything about this bowl. That being said, is it the best bowl you ever bought? Absolutely not. Those of you who have spent loads of money on bowls will know that there is a difference between a $100 bowl and a $40 bowl. What we have here is a $40 bowl that we're selling for 30 bucks. Okay, so we're trying to give you guys good value. I genuinely believe that this bowl is worth 40 or 50 bucks. We're selling them for 30 because we want you guys to have them. We have a very limited quantity and we have a very limited run. Um, they're going to be available for sale June 7th. And what I want to do today is really just introduce you guys to it and show you a little bit of how I pack it. Uh, today I'm going to be packing a blonde. I'm going to be packing Zomo, uh, my Havana style, which is, I believe, like a mojito. Um, it's a very good flavor and this is how I pack it. This is going to be the same way that I would pack it if I was smoking um, a Fokker uh, or really almost any other blonde with the exception of something that you're going to like super fluff, which I tend to not really fluff, like fluff pack very much nowadays anyway. Um, so yeah, as far as a quick overview of the bowl, there's a bunch of different colors that are going to be available. They all have this awesome marbleized glaze. Uh, very, very excited about it. I personally love the aesthetics of this bowl. And like I said, as far as the width, um, you know, it's nice and it's nice and wide. You have lots of surface area without it being super deep. It makes it a great bowl for tangiers or any other dark leaf that you like to smoke, especially if you want to try and go like two rounds. Um, try and go much past that. And I think it's a little too shallow. So, you know, it's not going to be a five hour bowl of anything, um, but it's also great for blondes. You have the room that you can fluff it if you need to, and you're not gonna be making contact with your foil. Um, and then obviously you can always always pack things more dense and not have an issue with, with pretty much any bowl. Um, the quality of the clay is really good. I know anyone who knows me who's talked to me about bowls and stuff, it's one of the things that I really harp on. Um, it's one of the reasons why I love alpaca so much um, is the quality of their clay, especially at the price point. To me, these bowls are hitting that mark and it's one of the reasons why I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it. So um, let me get my coals on, let me get my camera angle set up and let me show you guys how I pack this bowl for a blonde leaf. And later we'll have another video for other packs, I guess, I don't know. Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, here I have my Magma Bowl and I have my Zomo Havana style. Um, now, again, like I mentioned, when I pack Zomo, I do tend to pack it probably a little bit denser than what many of you may. I believe I pack, I like to pack it a little denser even than the Zomo guys said that they like to pack. I believe that they prefer a, a fluff pack. This tobacco absolutely works with a fluff pack. I'm not, I don't pack it differently because there's any kind of issue or anything. Um, this is just how I like to to smoke in, in general. I don't, I don't ever feel like I get great results from a fluff pack with the exception of certain brands that absolutely require it. So if I can get my tobacco to smoke more dense than fluffed, that's what I'll do. So what I'm doing right now is absolutely just fluffing it all in. Um, and again, I mean, it's really, it doesn't, th these bowls do not use a ton of tobacco. Um, I actually am gonna do something that I've made fun of people for doing in the past, which is I'm going to weigh it so you can see because it looks like it uses more tobacco than it, than it really does. Now, this is the amount of tobacco that I'm going to use for this pack. I'm going to end up packing it down. Before I do, I'm gonna grab my scale and let's weigh it real quick. All right, so here's my scale. I have emptied the tobacco from the bowl. As you can see here, relatively clean bowl. And here's my scale. I actually just did this and then got a call in the middle of doing it. So I gotta, I gotta reshoot it real quick. So we have the scale, scales on, scales at zero. Let's throw a sheet of, of uh, foil down real quick. 
just so I don't get shisha all over my scale in case I can use it for something else. And tear to zero out the weight of that. And let's see what the tobacco weighs. Boom. And it's coming in at about 17 grams. Now, again, you guys saw how I had it in the bowl. Um, I have it, you know, relatively overpacked. If you're gonna fluff pack it, it's gonna take even even less tobacco than that. Turn off, there we go. Uh, if you're gonna fluff pack it, it's gonna take even less tobacco than that. But let's get down to the actual pack itself before I get another call. Here we have the bowl. And we also have the tobacco. I'm just gonna do like I had before, which is just try to evenly sprinkle it in. Again, it's gonna be over the rim for right now. I'm going to adjust that in just a moment. Um, this most likely isn't super interesting for many of you, but I did want to display, again, how not only I pack the Magma Bowl, but also how I've been enjoying my Zomo, which as you guys know, you know, they partnered with us for the gala and we have more plans to do things with them in the future. Very, very excited about this brand. It's definitely worth giving a shot, um, especially for all you blind leaf smokers out there. Uh, they have completely re retooled and revamped their American line. Um, so it's worth it to check it out. So again, this is the amount of tobacco that I have. What I'm gonna do now is just mush it down. Again, not quite semi-dense, but not, definitely not fluff. And I may actually have even a little bit too much tobacco. So uh, no, we're good. I just had to redistribute. We're fine, relax, relax guys. Everything's fine. You know, this isn't rocket science. We're just packing a bowl. And that is about how I am smoking my Zomo out of my Magma. Now, one of the things um, that I do want to mention with, with the Magma bowls, which I like, but if you're not used to, can be a little bit of a learning curve. The, um, the center spire is, is significantly lower than your, your rim, which I like, um, but when you pack, you want to be aware of that. So if you're packing everything even, or if you're doing like a real dense pack, you're going to want to underpack a little bit. Um, when it's a pack like this, you just kind of want to form it so that you have a little bit of a slope so you have less chance of, um, well, number one, so that you're going to more evenly heat your tobacco with the walls of the bowl. And number two, um, you just have less chance of, of like drippage and, you know, your base getting all gross after just your first session with the bowl. So, um, yeah, let me flip my coals and let me get my, this bowl on a hookah and let's see how she does. I just realized, I mean, I missed a step. I, I didn't think that I really necessarily needed to show you guys this, but let's foil the bowl. So I like to use two layers of Reynolds HD, make sure that it's flat on top, and then you pull it all nice and tight. Bang, drum tight, it's that easy and that simple. And as you can see, there you go. Now, if I was gonna be doing this to take fancy pictures of my fancy bowl, I'd probably trim this up a little bit so you can see more of the glaze. But it's really not that important. I don't imagine you guys are gonna have to do that a hell of a lot. So I have my fancy poker here. We're going to poke some holes. Now, the bowl does slope pretty significantly right around the rim. So no matter what you pack, you definitely want your first few holes or your first ring of holes if you do the way that I do, which is circles. Um, you wanna not go very deep. You wanna be really careful because if you hit the side and then slip across, you're gonna have to refoil, which again, is not the end of the world. Now for blind leaves, I don't usually like to pet poke all the way through anyway. So I'm just gonna make some holes and that's about it. And I like to do three in the center. I just always have, that's what I do. Sometimes I do none in the center, it really changes. Hole patterns and whatnot really don't make much of a difference in your session. Anyone who tells you that they do, is kind of an idiot. You just don't want to have too much or too few. And you'll get the hang of that with each bowl that you have. So now, let me get my coals. Let me get this bowl smoking. All right, so I've been smoking for about 20 minutes or so. Absolutely in the sweet spot. Um, I lit four coals. I only used three to get the bowl started. I still just have three on it right now. I always light four. This bowl, I really, I should probably just start lighting three. Definitely don't need four, especially with, with a blonde. As you can see, it is pumping out the clouds. Flavor is excellent. Uh, it tastes just like a mojito, um, which is what it's supposed to taste like. If you don't know what a mojito is, it's like a, it's a Spanish drink. I don't know if it's actually Brazilian or, or what it is. Um, 
but it's like lime and mint, and it's a it's a, a rum cocktail. Uh, there's no real taste of rum. It doesn't taste boozy or anything like that. But it's nice and open, and that's really all you need to know about the bolt. It looks pretty. It's nice and open. It's versatile for blondes and for darks. Um, they are hand thrown. Um, they're extremely uniform. We we had a whole bunch of them at the gala, and you know they they are, are extremely uniform. Every bowl that you get is gonna hold the same amount of tobacco um, and be the same shape. There's no big differences. Um, the lotuses and phoenixes and any other HMD that you use fit perfectly on this bowl. It doesn't have a lip, um, but they fit perfect. You don't have any issue with that. Um, and that's really about it. They're handmade. They're from Eastern Europe. Um, we have. Northeast, or yeah, Northeastern. We have uh, North American distribution rights of this product. So as of right now, the only place that you're gonna be able to get it is on THL.life, which is our main website. And as I mentioned earlier, I believe um, we may end up having a separate URL just for the sale of the bowls. And if that ends up being the case, I will include a link. Once we have that, I'll edit the video and include a link in there as well. So that's about it. Um, those of you who were able to purchase one at the gala, um, that was the, the Tuxedo Black. Um, we're gonna have several colors available. I'm not exactly sure on which colors we're gonna have yet. We're still waiting to hear back from the manufacturer. Um, but I know that there's a green, there's a red, uh, there's the white with black like I have here. There also was like a pink. There was a whole bunch of colors. I'm not sure how many we're gonna have. Um, you know, we're not sure exactly how much interest there is. So we're definitely starting out with a very small run. Um, if you wanna get one, I recommend that you get one sooner than later, because I'm not sure if we're, how many more we're going to be getting in after the first batch. Um, that's really about it, so check it out. Uh, be on the lookout for more videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications so you can see when we're going live. We do lots of lives, we do lots of live shows, we do live videos, um, we do contests and giveaways from the channel and, and that kind of stuff, so definitely do that. And uh, yeah, June 7th, pick one up, I highly recommend. Before I sign off, I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of insight on what we're trying to do. Um, we're not trying to become like a big hookah vendor at, at any time. You know, we're really not. That's not like in the plans or in the works. Um, we're also not looking to you know try to get rich or rip anybody off. Uh, like I said, personally, I think this bowl would be fairly priced at 45. We're pricing them at 30. We're not trying to get rich. We're not trying to rip you guys off. We're not trying to rape anybody. What we want to do, the reason why we're trying to bring products to you guys, you know, from us is you know part of the THL idea is that there's a little bit of an, of an elitist feeling in what we're trying to do and I know some of you have felt that and maybe some of you don't like it um, that is absolutely the feeling that we're that we're trying to get with the products that we're trying to bring to market so you know this first one is something that's very affordable and attainable but there's no other way for you to get it if they're really cool looking they perform well and the only way you can get it is to get one from us and once we're out we're out um, and that's really the general idea of what we're looking to do. We're going to have other products that most likely will end up being pricier um, and will be more about performance. Um, and then we'll have, you know, more products like this that is just limited runs of something cool that you can only get from us. So um, hopefully you guys like it. Like I said, I'm going to do more videos on this bowl in particular. I want to do an in-depth heat management explanation for a few different brands. And I also want to do more different brands. And I'm going to be packing and show you guys how I, you know, like to, like to smoke this bowl. So that's it guys, keep it locked on THL. Um, check us out, check out the site, and uh, yeah, if, if you're at all interested, pick one up. I, I think it's worth it, and let us know what you think if you do. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.